Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the new content publishing workflow for developers. So this is for those of you who want to publish in the marketplace. Uh, we're going to talk about how you can do that now with the new and improved Smart Gallery plugin for Character Creator and for iClone 7. Okay, so basically we're going to be replacing the uploader in the near future. We're going to be using this workflow uh, going forward. Um, and uh, this workflow also tests in advance if content can be successfully uploaded and published. All right, so it's a lot uh, more convenient for the developers. Okay, so let's start off first of all by taking a look at this chart here, which shows you which items you can and can't publish in the marketplace. Okay, so if it has a check beside it, that means you can publish it. So most of the stuff you can publish and others you cannot. So there's, you know, different areas for people who have different skills in different types of items, different types of content, uh, you can go ahead and take a look at this chart here to determine if that's you. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to create a pack. We're gonna create a custom pack and then we're gonna upload that pack to the marketplace for sale to other Reillusion users. One thing to keep in mind for developers is that the Smart Gallery will define the install path for the content that users purchase. This basically means that although you as a developer have all the assets you want to publish saved in your custom folder, when the user installs, all the content will be set to the same install path in the template folder. For brand recognition and easy organization, we recommend using the directory structure shown here. You won't need to set the install path again. Okay, so I'm in the content manager now right here. Uh, you can see I'm in the clothing tab up here. If we go to cloth custom in the, in the uh, custom tab here, um, I have some uh, pants. Uh, we're going to use these shorts here. Um, there is a shirt uh, which can be found down here. I'm going to upload all this stuff into the pack. Uh, there is a jacket as well as some shoes. And we've also saved an avatar which can be found under base, uh, custom, and uh, our project rather, and avatar. And you'll find our you do down there. All right, so let's go ahead and create that pack again uh, in the smart gallery. Just go to pack and down here. Under custom, I've imported a bunch of uh, custom content already. Again, if you want to import any of your custom content, you can simply right click on it and select import to smart gallery. And if you've already done that, you can select search in smart gallery and it'll find that item right here, udo.cc avatar. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my main uh, folder here. And in our custom, uh, custom pack here, our custom folder, we have all the stuff that I've imported um, into the smart gallery. Okay, so these are all the items that I'm going to use when I publish my uh, pack. Okay, let's go back first and we're going to create a new pack by right clicking and selecting create pack. And we're just going to call this pack survivor, all right, because this guy's a survivor. And again, as always, if you want to have a thumbnail for your pack, which I highly recommend, just right click on your pack and select load thumbnail. And I have in my folder here, I have a, um, let's go to the folder. I have an image set up. Okay, this uh, thumbnail. Right, you can see Survivor, it says on the side. Try and keep your thumbnails very simple and uh, and easy to look at. Don't make them too busy. Uh, just a recommendation for publishing in the marketplace. And once you have your pack created, you can simply right click on the pack folder here and select edit metadata. And you can see all the items that are in the folder listed here. Okay, so the category and if they're uploadable, it's set to true. Okay, so that means you can publish it and that's how you can tell right away. You can just go ahead and save and upload from here. Okay, so we'll uh, go, we have the pack created already here. Um, we can go to our custom folder here and basically, you know, just to make it easy, I'll just click and drag and select everything, right click it and select move to, and we'll select move to our survivor pack there. Okay, so then if we go back and we double click on survivor, there's all the stuff in the survivor pack. Now you've got all that stuff organized, aggregated into one area, into one little pack here. Let's go ahead and upload that pack. So I'm going to upload it. It's very easy. You can just simply right click it and select upload pack. And that's going to take a minute to check the contents and upload your files. All right. So once your files have uploaded successfully, you can simply press OK. And then we can go over to our marketplace by clicking on the top uh, little icon here and selecting Reillusion Marketplace. And that'll load up the marketplace here. And when, once we're in the marketplace, of course, you want to log into your account. Once you're logged in, you can just go to management back end here. OK, so once you're in management back end, you want to take a look at your content packs. Of course, you have to have a store first, and that's a whole uh, another can of worms. You can check out how to build a store um, on the marketplace help page. Um, but once you have a store and you've uploaded the content pack, you can go over here to edit content pack. OK, so the one you've already created. Um, previously, you would have to create content pack, but now we can do it directly from the smart gallery, which is pretty cool. All right, so you can see here we have the uh, content pack. It's called Survivor. Our thumbnail has transferred over 
And if we want to take a look at what's inside the content pack, we can simply go over here to edit. All right, so once we're in the, uh, the, the pack here, we need to basically set all our product information. Uh, we need to select our type. In this case, we're going to choose it's a character. Okay, type character. And we'll just choose uh, avatar here. Okay, this is going to be a character avatar pack. Category character creator, that's fine. Okay, and we're going to choose an actor. Uh, and this is going to be a project or character. And we're going to choose male. Okay, you can choose a smaller category, but male is a very broad category. Okay. And the pack name transfers over from the pack name you have in the smart gallery. You can set the price to uh, whatever DA points you want, um, 1 million or 1 DA point, depending on how generous you want to be. Okay, and below that is all the pack contents. Okay, so these are all the items that we put into our pack in the smart gallery. You can see they're all loaded up here in their respective categories. And we can choose whether or not to make a trial available by clicking this little icon here and selecting on or off. And we can replace the uh, thumbnail if we want, but we already have that thumbnail uh, imported in from the smart gallery. So we'll just kind of keep that. And you can choose whatever description you want. Survivor is a cool pack. We can put whatever we want there. I'm just gonna keep it at Survivor. Uh, I'll show you another better pack in, uh, in just a moment here. Uh, and then your page header. So this is gonna be the, uh, the image at the very top of your page. Again, the dimensions here are 1920 by 1080. Uh, you can just go ahead and replace and choose file. And I'm going to choose this uh, pack or this image that I've prepared here. You can take a look at this. This will be like the top uh, in, a, in a, this guy in a couple of cool poses, the top image. All right, so let's go ahead and keep that. Uh, we'll double click that and load that in. And it'll save once we uh, save our, our uh, pack here. And then down here, we have the option to uh, add a preview image. I'm just going to add a preview image. I'm going to add uh, this one right here, which is our dude in a couple of different cool dance poses. He's a dance survivor, all right? So we'll go ahead and uh, click on that uh, image there and uh, that'll load up as a preview image as well. Again, the dimensions here, please follow these uh, uh, regulations for the dimensions. You have up to 30 images. Okay, and that's about it. So once you've done that, I mean, you can. there's a bunch of other stuff you can add, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it simple for you guys here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save as current status. Okay, and once that's saved, you can see everything here looks fine and dandy. There are uh, images have been uploaded there, uh, have been updated, our preview image and everything, um, our, our crappy little uh, um, description there. And we can go back to edit content pack, and now we can see the content pack has been updated. And if we want to see a preview of this, we can simply just click on the uh, thumbnail, and it'll load up the preview page for us in Marketplace. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so here's our uh, header image. Okay, pretty cool, pretty simple and clean. Um, there's our crappy description, Survivor, okay, and it shows all, all the items that are included in this product, okay, and in the category it's in, uh, you can select, uh, you can choose product Q&A, easy reviews, so, uh, so on and so forth, okay, uh, these are all the things that are included in the pack, uh, you can select your uh, preview image, which we saw earlier, uh, pretty cool stuff. All right, and this is what a much more well done pack is going to look like, you can see here we even have uh, preview videos uh, from YouTube. Uh, the preview images below here. There's a ton of different preview images. Um, this one he looks like a diehard, uh, the diehard character, John McLean. Uh, the prices and everything, all the required requirements here. So um, basically, you can use like this this image, uh, this product page as a reference. Uh, and there's stuff that uh, you know people have also bought. You won't have this right away. You'll have this once people start purchasing your content. Okay, and you can throw whatever tags you want in there as well. All right, so that's basically it. All right, so once everything is finished uploading, what you'll have to do is you'll want to make sure that you uh, re refresh your uh, smart gallery. And a, a developer item here should appear in your smart gallery. And under developer, you'll see that we have, we have the survivor pack right here. Now, if you want to install that, it's, simple, it's as simple as just double clicking the survivor pack. And you can see the uh, status will begin to install onto our computer. Now, when you do this, when you install using the survivor uh, in the developer section here, it's going to install into the template tab, okay, not into the custom tab. So I'll go ahead and show you that in just a moment once we're finished. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, double click it and go into all the items here. If you go back, you can again right click it and view items this way here as well. Uh, and if I want, say, to, for example, view our coat, uh, our jacket rather, we can right click on that and select show in content manager. And you can see it'll go over to the template tab under coats and you will find the jacket right here. So if we want, we can reapply that jacket. Um, you know, and it says new at the very top here because we haven't applied it yet. Once we apply the jacket, it will no longer be new. 
Now let's take a look at modifying the items in your content pack and updating them. Okay, so say you want to remove certain items from the content pack, you want to add stuff or update current existing stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Okay, now very important to note here, um, say for example, we want to make a modification. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this uh, jacket we have now. If I want to make a modification, I would not apply the jacket from the template tab, okay? Because once you install that pack and it appears in your template tab, this item now has DRM protection on it, okay? So once you, uh, if you want to modify something that you've already uploaded, make sure you apply the one from your custom tab, not from the template tab, okay? The template tab will already have DRM protection and essentially what will happen then is it'll basically add double DRM protection onto that item. So you want to go back to your custom tab and you want to go into the coats and apply this jacket again here, the one that doesn't have DRM protection because this is the one that you uh, apparently created, okay? So let's take a look at this jacket and modify it slightly by going to the modify tab here and into materials. Okay, and we're just gonna modify the base uh, color map slightly. Okay, so let's go in a little bit closer here so we can see it. And we'll go over here to the uh, adjust color. I'm just going to adjust the color. Let's say something like we'll take the contrast up to like, uh, you know, 30 or something. And we'll take the saturation down to like maybe minus 30. Okay. So now we got kind of this cool black jean jacket looking uh, jacket instead of the colorful one that we had before. Okay. So once we're done adjusting that to our, uh, to our heart's content, we can go ahead and close down the adjust color. Let's get another, uh, you know, view like this, another close up of our jacket. Maybe an angle like this would be kind of cool looking. And let's go with this, with this item here selected. We can just go over here to select replace. And it says item already exists. Do you want to replace it? We can just go ahead and press OK. OK, and now you can see it updates that with the new values. OK, so we've done that little adjustment. Now what we need to do is we need to update that in our developer section of the Smart Gallery. So let's go to the Smart Gallery here again. And back, if we go into uh, our custom tab right here, and we go into Survivor, notice that the uh, the thumbnail here has already updated, okay? So it's the same one as in the Content Manager. So the thumbnail here is already updated, but we need to go and update that in our Developer Pack as well. So let's go to Developer, and you can see here, we still have the old thumbnail. So what we need to do here is we need to go ahead and re-upload that pack. So let's go back to our custom tab here, and in Survivor, we're gonna do a couple things here. We're going to remove the boots, Okay, and we're going to add in this uh, this headscarf or whatever it is there. Okay, so I can right click or, or right click on the boots here and just go ahead and select delete. Okay, uh, we don't have to worry about that right now. And I'm going to uh, I've already saved the uh, cloak here, the character's cloak, uh, and that I've I've saved under clothing here and uh, other. And you can see under others we have this uh, cloak. Again, this is something you can save as an accessory or in a, a various a number of different categories here. Let's go ahead and select that cloak and let's go ahead and import it into the smart gallery. Okay, so again, it's imported into our uh, custom stuff here, into our uh, custom folder. And if we uh, right click on that, we can select move to and move to our survivor pack. Okay, and then if we go back, now we have the uh, the cloak is added and the uh, the boots are gone and we've updated the jacket. So we've made three changes to our pack. And so what we need to do now is we need to right click on that again in the custom section. We need to right click it and select upload pack one more time. And it'll pop up with this item here in the smart gallery, this little uh, a table here basically. Okay, so you can see what's happening right now is we're updating the operation for the first one, which is the jacket, we're updating it. Okay, so we're updating it from this previous version to the newer, cooler black version. Okay, and the second operation we're doing is we're inserting this cloak. Okay, so this cloak will now become part of the content pack. And the third operation we're doing is we're removing these boots. So these boots will no longer be part of the content pack. So what we can do is we can go ahead and select upload. Okay, so once all that content is finished uploading, let's go ahead right away to our really user marketplace here. It'll open up our account. And let's take a quick look at the back end. So we're gonna go to management back end one more time here. And let's take a look at edit content pack. Okay, when we have that one content pack uh, uploaded. You can see right here, and we can go into uh, edit, and now we can see, we should be able to see the updated version of the content pack. So now we have the cloak right here. We have the dude, the cloak, the jacket, and the shirt, and the shorts. However, the boots are no longer here, all right? And just for fun, we can throw in some uh, tags here as well. Let's just go into like, you know, survivor, and you separate them by commas, the tags, uh, mail, uh, you know, apocalypse or something like that. 
uh, and just go ahead and do whatever you want. And then just go ahead and save and publish or save as current status if you don't want to publish yet. And then we can go ahead and uh, close this down. You can see it's been updated with the, uh, the new tags here at the bottom. And we're going to just go ahead and close our window down now. And now we need to go into our uh, developer here. And if we double click on it, you'll see that we still have the boots and we don't have the cloak here. So what we need to do is we need to right click and select refresh. And now you'll see the jacket appear and the cloak uh, has now appeared there as well and the boots have disappeared. And if we go back to our main uh, developer folder, we can right click and uninstall the content. So that's going to uninstall the entire pack. So if we go back to our template folder here and we go to, uh, to coats, for example, you'll see the coat is no longer there. If we go to uh, shirts, you'll see that the, uh, the shirt is no longer there as well or the, uh, the boots or in this case, the, uh, the others. We'll see that we won't see the, uh, the cloak or anything there. We'll only see a couple other things. Okay, um, so in this case, and the pants as well, we won't find the uh, the cargo shorts that he had. Um, so in this case, what we can do is we can simply just, uh, you know, right click and install content, or we can double click it, and it'll just reinstall all that content. All right, so once everything is finished installing, we can go ahead and double click in the pack, and we can see our, our uh, new thumbnails. Everything is uh, colorful, which means it's installed. <laughs> it's not uh, grayed out. And we can go and check our uh, stuff like the coats, for example. We'll see the new U-Jacket right there with a the new thumbnail. And everything is new. And we can go to others and find our uh, cloak there as well. All right, so stuff like that. And that's really how easy it is to just update your packs that are currently published. And you can reinstall them and just republish them uh, easily. This is the new workflow for developers to publish their content uh, via the Smart Gallery. And again, this will be replacing the content uploader in the future. So try to get yourselves familiar with this process. All right. So again, thanks so much for watching and hopefully you learned a lot. Make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.